Hello and welcome to Team Fortress 2 Techs. In this video, there will be some techs about various things in Team Fortress 2. First off, a tech is something you can do that is a bit technical, that will give you an advantage, or you can potentially avoid downsides, and we'll look into that in this video. As heavy, most of you are aware that if you jump and spin up, it's you can uh, peek around corners a lot more easy instead of just walking. You can jump and get a bit of a momentum start. Also works great for checking your back without using any movement, because it is faster to just do this. So the first off is just a Tomislav thing. If you keep jumping and right clicking like this, you will maintain your momentum and you will always be ready for battle. That is if you are using this as a primary weapon and you're not using like gloves are running urgently or fiction out as for speed, then this is definitely the way to go. Next up is the Hitman's Heatmaker for the Sniper. Now this one I've shown before in another video, so this will be pretty short. If you have focus, you don't have to have full focus to use it. Just hit your reload key and do so. However, while in focus, you can unscope right after you shoot, like this. So it's a really good little tech you can use, and you can also jump and do the crouch jump jitter as well. Works pretty great. It's a nice tech. Next up is the Vaccinator. This is a little tech that you might not know. However, this one gives you resistances, and now this guy has a passive bullet resist, explosives, and fire. However, when you pop this resistance, the passive does not stick with the active, so you're actually losing out on some resistance. So as soon as you pop one, you should do this, because the resistance to bullet is now added as well. Same goes with this, so whenever you do this, you should have two resistances, because just doing a simple one like this does not give you more bullet. The shield gives you just the one and ignores the passive. So that's a little tech with the vaccinator. Next up is the tech that I dubbed Family of Fist, which is basically this holstering neglecting, because basically this weapon holsters slower. So if you have this active, pulling up this shotgun will be slower than if I just pulled it up from any other gun. However, this can be completely negated by going through another weapon. So if I would go Fist of Steel, Minigun, Shotgun, it will look like this. And I have it ready, as opposed to just going straight to shotgun. And this goes with all of them. If you want to go to minigun, of course you go through shotgun, like this. Or a sandwich, if you have that. And it's a lot faster than just doing it this way. As long as you hit Fists of Steel, and you have them equipped the moment of impact, you will take reduced damage. The timing of this can be pretty tricky depending on who you play against. It's most effective against Soldier and demo men, as you can really throw off their timing by having more health. You will now take an additional rocket or a pipe before dying. Hopefully it goes the same way as they did with the Atomizer, because pre the Atomizer episode, your Atomizer triple jump could just do it as soon as you held it in your hand, similar to how the Fists of Steel are now, but now you have to hold it fully in your hand before you're allowed to do that triple jump. On to Pyro, this is the Power Jack tech. If you use the gloves running urgently before, you already know this one. It's basically you switch to the power jack, and then you jump and switch back to your weapons. Like this, you maintain power jack speed while at the same time being able to ready your weapon pretty much whenever. And if you use this, you can time it so. Let's see. While still maintaining a pretty huge speed. So this is a pretty, pretty big deal. The extinguisher has the same type of downside as the Fists of Steel do with a slower holstering penalty. However, this can be completely negated by switching weapons. This is directly from extinguisher to flare gun. And this is extinguisher to flamethrower to flare gun. It's a lot faster. And it goes both ways as well. The degreaser with the panic attack can completely negate the successive shots become less uh, accurate attribute by doing a weapon switch. So here we have regular firing, as you can see. The more I shoot, the further apart these pellets go. However, if I switch between the shots like this, you can see that they remain the same and you completely negate the downside, similar to the Fists of Steel and the Extinguisher. For you Huntsman enthusiasts out there, it's better to switch weapons than it is to just purely right-click if you don't want to fire, like so. And you can still hold just M1 and you don't even have to right click and you don't have to do it while it's fully charged even. Next up is engineer tech. Now this tech requires you to go in options menu and set your um, loadout key bindings. Like here, you set these to hotkeys on your keyboard. And then when you press these you will switch loadouts. So this is very useful for when you play on maps where there's a long way to the resupply locker in the spawn room or uh, it has no resupply locker, as many 5CP map does, so it's a good way to just switch and get your uh, metal back. And then you can upgrade teleporters quite uh, effortlessly, and it will be a lot faster than if you didn't. You can see here, you can switch back and forth. Whenever you switch, you will get full ammo and uh, metal back whenever you do so. 
However, in this case, if we were to not do this, we'd have to run pretty far and spend a lot more time upgrading this teleporter. Crouch jumping is an essential tech for Team Fortress 2. If you want to get on top of your dispenser, normal jumps won't cut it. You have to crouch first, and while you're crouching, you have to hold crouch and press space. This tech of jumping and grabbing your dispenser at the same time can be useful for going to places where you normally couldn't go. Doing wrangle center jumps is essentially the same as the dispenser jump with just an additional step. So basically you just aim with the wrangler, right click, keep holding right click, and then switch weapons before the rocket hits the ground and blows you away. The timing on this can be a bit tricky, but once you master it once, you can do it multiple times. Just remember, shoot with wrangler, hold right click, then switch weapons. Just to cover explosive jumps as well, if you normal jump and shoot down at the ground, you will fly a certain distance. However, if you utilize crouch jump, you will fly a lot higher. Instead of just using the floor, you can also use walls to propel yourself forward instead of just up. And if you don't crouch jump, you'll take more damage and not travel as far. And last but not least, my number one hated tech, crouching while jumping, makes your hitbox jitter and harder to snipe. Thanks for watching, I hope some of these techs were at least new to you and that you found some use for them. I do hope that some of them get patched though, like the Family of Fists and the Extinguish Holster Denial you can just do by switching multiple weapons.